Taylor Swift getting some nominations in there. You would expect that, right? Oh, yeah, of course. But there's a longtime Valley resident who has made the coveted list as well. His name is Matt Mayer. He's worked with youth groups at local churches for more than a decade, and now he's finding success as a contemporary Christian singer. Mayer was nominated for three awards, and Mark Martinez joins us now with the story three. Yeah, it's a, quite a day for Matt Mayer. Again, he uh, woke up and found out that he was nominated for three of those Grammys. He lived here in the Valley for almost 20 years after moving here with his family in 1995. He honed his skills as a songwriter and a musician, as a youth leader at Valley Churches, and also as a student at ASU. I talked to him tonight about the exciting news that he got today, being nominated again for those three Grammys. Longtime Valley resident Matt Mayer waking up this morning to a string of text messages congratulating the Christian singer songwriter. I knew that the Grammy nominations were this morning, so um, so I kind of figured I got nominated for something. I didn't realize that I'd gotten nominated three times, and that's, that's pretty amazing. I'm alive, I'm alive because he lived. Mayer was nominated twice for Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance and Song for his number one single, Because He Lives, and as co-writer for Third Day's Soul on Fire. His album, Saints and Sinners, also nominated for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. I asked Matt, who now lives in Nashville, how it feels to be a triple Grammy nominee tonight. You know, not much has changed because tomorrow morning I have to wake up and take out the trash. Before making it big, Mayer worked as a worship leader at St. Timothy Catholic Church in Mesa on and off for 13 years. And he got his degree in music from ASU, where he studied jazz piano. Matt had some advice for others thinking of following a career in the music business. I'd say, first of all, um, you know, life's short. You have to do something that you love and something that you have passion for. The great thing that you have when you're young and single and in college is you have a lot of time. And so uh, invest it uh, the best way that you can. Yeah, some good advice, and it's worked out very well for Matt. He lives in Nashville now with his wife and their two-year-old daughter. His mom and brother still live here in Phoenix. He says they're probably watching this tonight. Matt says he wouldn't have achieved the success that he has today without all the support of everybody right here in Arizona who helped him along the way. Reporting live, Mark Martinez, Fox 10 News.